Vegas for us. Carly Barnett is live in Miami where it's been a very busy morning. Carly, did they put you to work? They sure did put me to work. It is all hands on deck. You, you might get a little bit of a glimpse of that in just a few minutes, but the morning here started at 3 a.m., if you can believe that. And that's because this is a huge undertaking, but one everyone says is well worth it. And something really special that I noticed is the amount of volunteers that had been through the rescue mission program and made it a point to come back today to help others. Putting on a full Thanksgiving feast for 2,500 people is no easy task. But head chef Calvin McFadden says the annual Miami Rescue Mission Thanksgiving banquet is a labor of love that he looks forward to. Yeah, I'm excited about doing this each year. I've been doing it for 17 years since I f first came to the program. You know, I came into the program myself, so it's, that's really something important to me to be giving something back to a program that was so good to me. And his story is like that of so many others here who complete the rescue mission program and then come back to help others. This event means a lot to me because when I had nowhere to go for, for that meal, you know, this was a, a big staple, you know, for that day because usually you spend it around family and this place has become my family. Hundreds of volunteers help make the day happen. Former Heat player Chris Bosch was among those serving and they'll put you right to work, myself included. 22 years ago, my life changed and I've been able to give back to people. So I just, I am grateful to be up this morning and be able to serve and to be able to just help the community put a smile on their face. But it wasn't just food. There were haircuts, medical exams, and clothing donations. This is the place that helped me get my life back together. So I'm forever grateful, you know. So I feel an obligation to be here so I can let other people that know that that's coming through the program, that if it worked for me, it can work for them. People today serving with a gracious and grateful heart because these volunteers have seen firsthand how a meal can mean something more. Be able to use my life as an instrument to be a blessing to others, I think that's where it's at, especially on a day like this. Well, you can see behind me, they're actually just now starting to pack up the meal, and what a feast it was. Let me give you some numbers here. They served almost 300 turkeys, 500 pounds each of mashed potatoes, green beans, and stuffing. Top that all off with about 45 gallons of gravy. Definitely a big undertaking. I don't know if I'm going to keep the hairnet, though. Don't think it was my look. But worth it to get back on a day like today. Live in Miami, Carly Barnett, CBS 4 News. Very worth it indeed. And I love that it just wasn't about the food, but they did the haircuts and the medical checkups. Great event, Carly. Thank you so much for that report.